All right, and so Drew Straker in the chat says, can you talk a bit about divine darkness? Is this something that has an analogs, different levels of reality? Does it some, does it have something to do with the waters above? And so, yes, it does have something to do with the waters above. They're not the waters above, but you, you, your insight is right, is that there is in some ways a kind of divine darkness, which a kind of darkness which is uh, around all the all beings. And so in some ways it is the, you could call it the kenosis of the being, the way in which the being empties itself, that is its darkness. And so the, the darkness appears as a, there's a darkness below and there's a darkness above, and they're not the same, although there's a relationship between the two. Which, if, which is difficult to grasp, and we have to be careful with grasping that relationship because it, it, it has in some ways been the cause of so much <clears throat> error and so much heresy in the, in the past, which is, which is confusing the relation, mixing up the distinction between the lower darkness and the higher darkness, and also not understanding how they connect has been such a, such a, a stumbling stone for all the esotericists, you know, out there. But so you can understand that the you can understand it as a kind of dark glory, maybe is the best way to understand it. There's a relationship between the way in which you empty yourself da going down, right? As as you kind of move towards non-being, going down, you know, your qualities, the qualities of a being diminish until they vanish until they cease to exist and and that is its own darkness like it's its own it's its own darkness because it's the place where its qualities cease to uh cease to exist you know as they diminish you could say so it's not a it, it, there's nothing i know it sounds very weird and esoteric but it's not weird it's like that take a, there's a chair and then the chair there's a scale of the chair and there are qualities of the chair, but you can you move away from those qualities. At some point, you have things which are almost a chair, not quite a chair, a broken chair, residues of a chair, remainders of a chair. Then at some points, it's just no longer a chair. And so when it's no longer a chair, when you no longer see the chair from something that was the chair, you have you have something like it's death or it's darkness because it has it has basically evacuated itself into non-being. Uh, but that is also true to the manner in which it participates in higher identities. So there's a manner in which all beings give themselves up also and evacuate their being up towards higher identities. And that could be something like a higher form of darkness, right? A kind of ecstatic, ecstatic darkness, you could call it. Uh, and that ecstatic darkness, that is the way in which the chair... Uh, disappears into its functionality, right? It's like a, a good way to, Heidegger had some insights about this. It's like, if you, how can I say this? It's like, to some extent, the manner in which the chair becomes mostly the chair is when it's forgotten, is when you, you stop thinking about the chair. When you're sitting on a chair and you stop thinking about the fact that you're sitting on a chair, and that you are engaging with someone and you're talking or you're eating or whatever, and the chair disappears into the, into the conversation, then it is its darkness. It's its, it's its higher darkness, right? It's the way in which it has given itself up into higher participations. In, into, it's the way in which it has, it has been forgotten, you could say, but forgotten not in, the, not in, not in a bad way, forgotten in the way as, as in fully kind of subsumed into its higher participation. So that is, and it doesn't mean that it stops existing, but it's, it exists in full submission, you could say, and in, in a kind of humble, a kind of humility that is its higher glory, you could say. So, so that is true of everything. And, it, and understanding that, you know, is... Uh, and you could say, and this is the weirdest thing about that, is that when it, when, it, when a chair achieves that, when, when a chair disappears into its higher participation, it is actually being most, it is being the most chair that it can be, is when it, van when it, when it gets, moves into its own d darkness, its own higher darkness. And that is also true of us, and it can help you understand why the paradox of Christianity and the paradox of humility in Christianity, which is that, you know, as the saint becomes humble, 
and actually diminishes himself and gets taken up ecstatically into the life of God, uh, vanishes into God, you could say. But if it's proper, it means that it would also be the highest form of himself and, and that the, 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 the person will become the most itself at the same time, uh, which is, like I said, which seems paradoxical, but once you kind of understand it, you can see that that's actually how reality works. So, yeah. All right. Yeah, so so Matt Hylam in the chat says, you can't ever reach the top. That's the right, that's the right way to understand it. It's like the top, the top of you and the top of all beings is the manner in which it gives itself up higher. And so it's actually an extinction. It's a kind of death that, that is at the top of the mountain. And that's the mystery, right? That's the mystery of, of uh, and it's also life. Like it's not, it's not, it's, we have to be careful. It's not a kind of nihilism. It's also the tree of life, but it, it has, to, you kind of, it kind of has to go through a, a tree of death, you could say. It appears as a, as a giving up of, of itself. So anyways. Like this is the kind of thing that people will clip and and say that I'm just saying gibberish, but hopefully, hopefully that people in this conversation here in the Q and A have heard enough of what I'm saying to 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 see where I'm going with this. So, Gohar M says the chair had an ego death. Yeah, that's exactly that's a good way of understanding it. Oh, despite the the often uh, popular culture uh, discussion about ego death, there. 